up to our post-match press conference of match number 49. I'll have the head coach of South Africa, Hugo Bronze, who is here, uh, to give us his views about uh, today's semi-final match. Uh, coach Hugo Bros, um, it's a game that you've not been able to make it to the final, but I'm sure you've learned a lot and you're still proud of your team, definitely. Um, <clears throat> football can be hard when you see uh, the performance of my team today and then there is penalties and then you lose the game, you're not in the final it's hard to accept that <clears throat> because we played a very good game today I think we were the best team the first half we had the best chances Nigeria did it happen one, but one chance no, nothing second half Okay, they had a few chances, they could score, <clears throat> but then we changed something tactically and we could come back. But two minutes before the end of the 90 minutes, we had again three chances. So if we could score there, it's we that go into the final and not Nigeria. But okay, <clears throat> that can happen in football, it's a big disappointment for everyone because we feel that we played a very good game and not only today that we played a very good African and I'm very very proud of it I'm proud of my players <clears throat> the disappointment is this but the proudness is that what they did what they performed not only today Yes, it's a defeat and you see you played a very bad game against Cape Verde and you win with penalties and today you play a very good game against Nigeria and you lose with penalties. That's also football <clears throat> but again I think we have only to think about the way we played this African. And I know that everyone knows South Africa now as a good playing team. And that is the most important. Let's step up questions. <coughs> um, good evening, coach, and hard luck on the result. But well done to the team for the run. Thank you. Uh, coach, uh, yesterday you did say um, that uh, you know, obviously now at your age, you sometimes are thinking maybe you know could be time to to uh, to end your career, your coaching career. Now with the way that Bafana has performed here, um, exceptional, does it give you that edge to want to go on you know, with this team and do something incredible? With them? First of all, I uh, <clears throat> I never said that I should stop. I never said it. It was only when you talk about my age and uh, yeah, then I think it's normal that you think about yeah, maybe it's time that I'm going to stop. But I never said that I'm going to stop. But then I stop. So again, um, I'm very happy in my job, as I said a few days ago. Um, the guys give me a lot of satisfaction, a lot. I'm proud as a coach to be a coach of that team. So the rest, the future will tell us. Bonsoir coach. Beaucoup de courage. Un bois et sous.
I had luck on the result, uh, but well done on, on the good performance throughout the tournament. Um, I just want to go back to your tactical approach, and and you just spoke about the first half. Um, do you think if you can just let us in on, on, on your thinking on how you switched from your back four to a back three, and 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 how it appeared to to have confused Nigeria a bit, especially in the first half. I think we, we neutralized completely Nigeria with the way we played. Uh, we chose to play with uh, three defenders because we knew there was a danger with uh, yeah, two wingers who play inside, uh, Lokman and, uh, and David. <laughs> we had to, we had to uh, find the solution for that. And the best solution was to put another um, central defender there. And I think we succeeded. Because when you see the dominance we had in the first half, not only with defending, but also in attack. Also, our, our, the way we built up, the way we played. I saw the coach of Nigeria many times doing this. Go back, go back, because they were afraid. They couldn't, they couldn't recuperate the ball. So we played very good. So that means that the tactical choice was good. After the 1-0, we changed because we had to take risk. And okay, we, we could score that goal, and everything, yeah, was good, except two minutes before the end. Of the 90 minutes, we had three chances. Three big chances. So we could kill Nigeria there. We didn't do it. That's a pity. We didn't do it and then, yeah, okay. You have the penalties. It's a lottery. You can buy a big lot in the, and see, and you can. 20 years having a no winning and then suddenly you win. And this is the same with penalties. We won four days ago, we lose it today. Um, Paul Myers from Radio France International. Coach, by your own admission, uh, South Africa came in as one of the underdogs. Um, what do you think is needed to maintain South Africa as one of the big houses to build on this on this run to the semi-finals? What will be needed? Players in Europe or just more players in South Africa? You know, um, <clears throat> when I came in South Africa, um, first of all, I was a little bit surprised that there were so many old players in the team. So that means that we had to change. And I, have a, I had a lot of critics the way I changed. Because I took players from not only from the big teams, also from the little clubs. But it needed some time. And we, we needed some time. So it was nearly one year before we found what we want to have. And from that time it went better. We qualified us for Afghan in Liberia and we started to play good games. But we changed also the style of South African football. We tried to play more direct, we, played, we tried to play more vertical, we tried to have more movement in the team. And I think we succeeded. When you see us playing today, there's a lot of movement in the team. There's a lot of depth in the team. There's a lot of vertical passes. We defend good. So tactically, I think we progressed also. So that means that, um, yeah, we did a very good job. And therefore, alone, therefore, only uh, already, it's a pity that we are not in the final. Let's take the final question. Uh, gentleman at the back. Uh, coach, uh, congratulations for the result. Um, obviously, you're disappointed with not being in the final, but also, do you feel that it's a big chance, knowing that 
we've been competitive against both Congo. We beat Congo when we were competitive uh, against Cote d'Ivoire in Abidjan when we visited them. Do you get that sense of uh, such a big chance list? As you know, that um, this is also a, a big satisfaction that we not play good and win games against the little countries. We won against Morocco two times. <laughs> we played a fantastic game in Ivory Coast in November, uh, in October last year. The performances here on Afghan were good, very good even when you see us playing today. So that means that we don't have, we don't need to have any fear anymore when tomorrow we play against a big African country. We are good and we have to believe that. And this is something I always said to the players in the last months, believe in yourself, please. You have the qualities, but you have to change some things. And they did it. And that's why, again, I said it a few minutes ago, I'm so proud of those guys. They wanted to progress. They wanted to play good football. And now, I really think, I really think that for some players, there is a door open now to Europe. Because they show that they can play like they have to play and like they want there. So it's certainly a good thing for South African football. The interest in South African football is again there. And I think that's important too. Okay, thank you so much, Coach, and I wish you all the best for the future.